And then one day we were fishing for some food And up from the gulf came a bird So we came to Dauphin Island to pay respect and to honor, to listen to nature, to show our concern and our care, and to also get the revelation of truth from all that we saw so that we could also bring it back to our communities. BP Halliburton. Hi, how you doing? Who are you guys with? Uh, we all work for BP. Ah. So how are you feeling about things? Feeling good. Good. How come you, you guys can't talk to me? We're not at liberty to talk to anybody. Because? You have to talk to the manager. Who's the manager? We're not that way. I don't know if I'll let you up there. Has there been landfall on Dauphin? So I can't go talk to anybody. Wow. Tell me how many people you got walking the beach? Okay. How many people you got walking the beach? Not a lot of them. But we know we don't have a camp right at this point in this area. I, I'm just going to put in here today. People walk around doing that. It's a waste of money. There's oil on the other side? Yeah, that's what they said this morning. On the west end of the island, it's residential, and so it's not public access. And there's these really tall sand walls, and the sand's been churned and then made into a wall. And when you start digging into the wall, you see all these bar or these balls of oil that have been covered up, totally covered up, and not removed. But then you come here. This is a public beach and there's tons of men walking around. There's nothing to clean up at all, but it looks good. I mean, it looks like they're doing something, but there's nothing to clean up here. Half the island is covered in tar balls. So I've been here so many times, it's so beautiful. I love Dauphin Island. We usually see a lot of dolphins. There are some fish here, but yesterday there, there was no fish, for sure, because the birds were diving and seeing nothing. So it's a, well, the worst part of the island is private. And you need a pass, a residential pass, to be able to go drive there. And you have to prove that you live there to be able to even go. So, interesting, right? Looks good here. Looks like they're working right here. So the lack of communication exhibited by the subcontractors for BP and the people they're overseeing is really symptomatic of a larger picture of corporate culture in which that form of secrecy is the norm and communication is a tool to be used only for manipulative purposes and not as a tool for revealing the truth. So, the wake-up call for BP is the wake-up call for all corporations, just like this bill is not belonging to them, but belonging to the people. And the dialogue that needs to take place is not just confined to this spill, but to other areas of our life so that we're no longer taken advantage of and so easily manipulated for profit by these greedy corporations. You can't talk to me?